What's up, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. I have two new knives on my channel. These are EOS knives. Stands for Elite Outfitting Solutions. This is uh, two of their main line right now, flipper knives uh, that they are producing. They have uh, other types of knives. I think they got OTFs and uh, butterfly style knives and stuff like that. But this is the two main you know, folder type, you know, pocket clip type knife. So we're gonna check these two out today. Um, I wanna thank USA Made Blade for sending these out for review. They sell both of these models and different other different colors and different, you know, go check it out, usamadeblade.com. You'll see all the different colors and stuff they have available right now. They constantly getting, you know, more in, so. If you're interested in either one of these, go check it out. I'll uh, I'll put the website down in the description below. Let's start with the first one here. Uh, you see there's two different boxes here. I'm assuming this is an older style box. This is their newer style box. Because um, the Mini Cleaver, uh, I believe, came out first. The Dorado S was the second. So I think these are, this is a very, you know, very, very new knife. That color just came out. So I'm thinking this is the new style and it's probably, I mean, don't hold me to any of this, but I believe that probably all the newer ones are probably going to be in this box, I, I guess, I, you know, I'm assuming. So that's why there's two different kind of boxes here. But let's start with the mini cleaver. This is a full tie frame lock knife. Titanium mill pocket clip, titanium backspacer. This is a flipper and or you can open it with the hole that's in the blade. You can spotty flick it, you know, whatever you want. See up close here, all the mill work done to it. Got this carbon fiber uh, inlay that's on here. You got some flats, you got some milling done in the carbon fiber. Let's take a look at this mini cleaver. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if they've ever made a large cleaver or they plan on making a large. And that's why they call this the mini. I don't know. Um, it ain't it ain't crazy mini. I'll compare a para, uh, paramilitary two to it here in just a second, so you can kind of see that it's not too mini. It's a it's a pretty definitely a stout hefty knife there. Um, I'll pull it out and you can see the difference. There's the length difference of a PM2. The thickness is a good bit chunkier. Obviously, the blade thickness, definitely different. Let's do that comparison right now. So, it's uh, just about the same length as a paramilitary 2. I'll give you an idea. I'll pull this guy out and compare the Dorado here in a second. This particular one has S30V, but they make, I mean, you go USA Made Blade, um, there's a handful on their website right now, and I think just about all of them has all different kind of blade steels. Um, I've seen uh, S90, I've seen uh, all, all, all different types, 60, um, and, and they range in different prices. This knife ranges, I believe this starts right around one, uh, uh, I said, almost said 150. Woo, I wish, I'd buy them out, but, uh, <laughs> Uh, 550, excuse me, 550. Full USA made custom, not, you know, production slash mid tech, what are you gonna call it? Um, you know, you can get all kind of different things done. You'll see, I mean, all the hardware's uh, anodized, they can do uh, cer uh, Cerakote, I mean, all kind of stuff. I mean, crazy thing. There's one on there called the uh, Stormtrooper. All white blade, which this one, uh, the Dorado I'm called I'm a Georgia Bulldog fan, so that red and black is my dog knife, but um, it also could be more of a, if you're gonna do Star Wars, that could be more of a, a, a Darth Vader style knife, or if you had, say, you know, the Stormtrooper, or Darth Maul, you know, red and black. But uh, they don't call it Darth Maul, obviously, but I just thought it would go together. If you had a red and black one, that all white one with the black would look good as far as a Stormtrooper. Anyway, back to the knife. Got stone washing here, up here in this bevel. You can, let's see if I can get that. The 
way it looks, more grainy, more just kind of a different look to it there. You can really see the difference in the, almost has a, almost a kind of compound grind done to it right through there. If you, it would looking at this, if you actually took this part off here, that would be a Warncliffe, really. I mean, it looked like a you know, pretty nice looking Warncliffe, but when you put that on there, then it's more of a cleaver. You know, that real high hump there. Goes in and out the pocket, fantastic. You know, the pocket clip works good. They are on, on bearing lock bar insert there. Um, this one here is a, a, um, I, I guess you call it used. This is uh, his personal knife, so it's been, I'm sure, flipped a, a bunch. Um, rumor has it that these out the box can be a little, uh, a little break-in period, so keep that in mind. There's like a little, uh, kind of, some people calls it grainy, um, but I, I'm not seeing that at all with this one here. Um, I mean, it's fantastic. I don't see anything wrong with it, but, you know, one brand out of the pack. Might might have that. I don't know. I, I've never held one. I knew out the pack, you know, other than the other one, but it's a different style knife we're talking about here. Anyway, uh, one of the little things on this side that I would have liked to seen um, would have been a little, I don't know, maybe a little contrast difference from this side. Maybe a little small inlay or something right through here of carbon fiber. Something to just kind of, I mean, as you see, it's just all kind of blah. You know, it's all one color. Or this way that you know the show side obviously that's why i call it show side you know broke that up a little bit you know looks nice i almost needed a little something on this side where it was you know put a different color pivot or something you know just kind of break it up a little bit that's my opinion that's just my opinion there ain't nothing wrong with the knife it's just my opinion but um it feels fantastic in hand as you can see you can take the three fingers here and it with my uh, extra large glove hand the three fits there perfectly and it fits right in this little groove back there. And it is real nice in hand. I don't feel any hot spots at all. Thumb rests right there on that jimping. The jimping is there. It's not, I mean, it's big, but it's not aggressive, you know. Um, like I said, spidey flicking it. You can do that. Uh, regular uh, flipper tab. I mean, uh, yeah, flipper tab. You can, uh, you got a little end in here where you put your thumb in there. It kind of just goes right in that one little spot and then you can thumb flick it. You know, so there's about three options there to open it. Um, no lock stick. Like I said, I got the lock bar insert there. You know, very cool. If you like these unusual style looking knives, it has all the, um, just kind of the, I don't know, just strange, weird, different. <laughs> I don't know how you gonna put it, you know. Uh, style knives is just different from the run of the mill everyday knives. These are pretty cool here, these uh, mini cleavers. Uh, it's a definitely a, kind of a wow factor. You pull it out your pocket and you know, somebody says, whoa, you know, that is a, that's a beast of a box cutter there, you know. But um, very cool knife. All right, I'm already eight minutes in on this one. Let me show you the other one real quick. Uh, we'll put him back up top here. This one here, this is the Dorado S. Uh, this one actually has CTS XHP still, as you can see. Um, this is my favorite of the two. Uh, more of a more traditional style kind of knife, I guess you would say. Um, I love these colors, the Cerakote on there. It's got the carbon fiber inlays. It's got the black hardware that matches everything. You got the carbon fiber uh, over travel stop on this side, kind of a uh, pivot collar over travel stop, you know, um, got the matching black clip with the black backspacer. Okay. If you lock up on that one, it does have a lot of our insert, as you can see, uh, more of a normal kind of got a swedge up here, normal spear point, drop point, kind of normal, got a real good belly right here. Um, this is a thumb stud and a hole in the blade opener. No flipper tab. Uh, for you people who don't like flipper tabs, this is a good option here. Uh, works fantastic. This one is brand new in box. Um, I can spidey flick this guy here. If I can get my finger under it, there we go. Um, thumb pops, deploys. Obviously this is bearings also. Uh, very smooth. 
and this is brand new so i'm sure it's got to break in good on that uh coating on the blade and everything that detent ball is going to make a little ramp in it you know make it where it smooths out on you but um one little weird thing that pops here i don't know if they could even have done anything about it but it'd been nice if they could have made the thumb stud the the screw of the thumb stud the end of it if they could have just maybe painted it uh, put some cerakote it on it or something. i don't even know if that's even possible or what but you can kind of see how that little shiny that's the only only shiny thing on this knife other than the edge and it just kind of is like bam right in your face you know you see the little circle there um nice little cutout right here but this is this is my favorite out of the two um i just i, I like the thumb start uh th um, spidey flick part of it better than the thumb stud uh, if you notice with the thumb stud, nothing really wrong with it. I have been opening and closing these knives a whole lot, just flicking and play with them, you know, just getting, you know, some things I like and don't like about them, that kind of stuff. So after a while, you know, thumb studding the knife uh, will eventually, you know, start to hurt your thumb for a while. You know, I don't care what thumb stud knife you use, but this, this thumb stud, you know, uh, be aware is a little, I don't know, I guess you would call it aggressive. It has... I don't mind the little jimping, but when it has these bigger, thicker jimpings on it, right in this area, it will start to hurt a little bit more. I'd prefer more of a uh, Chris Reeve style uh, thumb stud or something, you know, more of a, more of a, the little lines only, and then have just, just the uh, shaft there to be smooth instead of having all those little, those little ridges on it or whatever. Anyway, you know, if you, obviously if you just use your knife normal and every now and again pull it out to use it it's going to be no big deal uh, but if you flip and you'll know, flick it a lot you will notice that that does you then will want to start doing the uh flipper tap um uh, spotty flick uh just to stop using your thumb for a while but um like i said this is this is my favorite of the two um but Newer company, you know, ain't been around a whole lot. I don't know exactly how long they've been. This is one of the big factors right there. Boom, right there. Made in the USA. Um, there's not a whole lot of videos or anything about either one of these knives out there. So that goes to show you that they definitely are newer, trying to get out, you know, trying to get out there in the market. Um, but like I said, this knife, if you don't like red, you don't like Sarah, I mean, they have titanium, they have shiny blades, they have half shiny, half stone wash, half, I mean, there's just so many options. Um, I think USA Made Blade maybe has maybe four or five different versions of this one on their site right now. I uh, got one that's all black with uh, copper inlays in it. And like, I believe it's a copper clip or copper, this is copper or something, I can't remember exactly, but but it's uh, definitely something to check out if any of these are interested, you know, interest you at all. Uh, this one, this model here starts right around, I think the base price is 425 i believe that's what it is um and it goes up from there depending on your options and your inlays and your colors and you know the more more stuff you have done to it you know the more it goes up but i believe this model is 450 uh, so it's only 25 dollars more for all the the extra little color and stuff that you get on here but um other than the little small things i pointed out on this one like i said jimping here is a you know it is it is you you do know it's there it's a little tighter a little smaller jimping so it is a little more aggressive um you can see where my hands land on this one it fits just about all the fingers right inside of there uh no hot spots clip is totally fine um it, this is a cool knife here uh, other than that like i said on this guy um there's one thing if you're using the flipper tab on this one um, and you're like me and you put the, the butt of the knife in the palm of your hand as you're doing the, as you're pulling back on the flipper tab, you know, this, this very sharp tip, um, uh, backspacer slash lanyard hole here, um, will, will dig in after a while, you know, it will start to get you right there. Um, one thing there, uh, other than that. But like this one, this one actually feels better in hand to me than the one that uh, that all my fingers fit in the belly, which is a little unusual. But the way this angled out here and it's got that curve to it, it just really fits in there good, you know. But this is a thicker knife. But let's compare the pair of two with the other one here. Uh, 
pair of twos got it by probably at least a quarter of an inch or so. So it gives you an idea. Uh, handle length, let's close it up here and compare handle lengths. Uh, just about dead on handle length. Let's see, thickness. And this is just eyeballing, it's not getting out calipers or any of that stuff, but it's got the pair of two by a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit thicker. Uh, more of a contour, you got contour uh, where the pair of two is more of a straight. But anyway, about the same there. Um, very cool knives. Um, got, a, got a chance to check these out. Like I said, go to USMA Blade right now. Uh, I'll pick you up one if you like it. If you didn't know these knives existed, uh, EOS, which stands for, again, Elite Outfitting Solutions. All right. I'm about 16 minutes in on two knives. That ain't too bad. About eight minutes a knife. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, go check it out, usmablade.com. If you need to, uh, need to check these out or want to check these out, go ahead. And uh, we'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.